Just this month, another search for Samantha Ann Clark in Orange County, Virginia, four years after she vanished. The 19-year-old disappeared in 2010, slipping out after midnight from her townhouse, telling her 14-year-old brother she was going out with friends. She never returned. She was with me all the time. Everywhere I went, she was with me. Law enforcement spent hours scouring this lake. They came up empty-handed. Even though we've been at this lake numerous times, uh, our experts in this matter have determined that the lake has not yet been 100% cleared. Samantha's cousin believes she always planned to return home. The only thing she took was her house key. And she said that she would be back before morning. On Samantha's MySpace page five days before she went missing, a mysterious clue. She posted, I hate life. I need help. I don't know what to do. Samantha's mother believes she knows who took her daughter. This man, Randy Allen Taylor. Randy Taylor come and picked her up. I mean, he called here six times, and I mean, why would you call my daughter six times if you ain't trying to um, lead her on or trying to talk her to come out the house or trying to talk her to do something? Taylor was once looked at by police in Samantha's case. But years later, this past May, in a bizarre twist, he was actually convicted in the disappearance and murder of another girl, 17-year-old Alexis Murphy. Both girls were last seen along the same stretch of Highway 29. Samantha was last seen in Orange, Virginia. Alexis disappeared in Lovingston, Virginia, about 60 miles away. Alexis's family thought they might find her after police found her cell phone, but Alexis's body was never discovered. Alexis, if you're out there and you can hear us, just know that your family loves you. We will never stop until you are home. Our family circle is broken right now. Police have surveillance video showing Alexis at a Lovingston gas station in August last year. Randy Taylor was also seen on the video. He's always maintained his innocence, saying that he and Alexis and another man went back to his camper to smoke marijuana. Then he said Alexis and the then unidentified black man left. Taylor's attorney also argued his client wasn't the last person to see Alexis Murphy alive, that instead police should have been focused on a black male, mid to late 20s, with cornrows driving a, quote, 20-year-old burgundy caprice with 22-inch wheels. Despite all the talk, officials say there is no evidence linking the disappearance of Alexis Murphy to UVA student Hannah Graham. The Nelson County attorney says the black man later identified and implicated by Randy Taylor was not Jesse Matthew, the suspect in the Graham case. He also said that man had an alibi and was later cleared. Randy Kay, CNN, New York.